there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these fun fringe seed beads earrings I'm showing them as I said step by step and even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them if you're new here consider subscribing for more similar absolutely free content Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads, light green, yellow, orange and red. Here I'm also using earring findings in copper color, you could use others of your choice. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 if you want this to be easier for you. And here I'm using scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread or maybe just a little bit more than an arm span and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with a red and an orange bead. Okay, I'm sliding those down and as I'm exiting through the orange one, I go back through the red. Okay, and I have them sitting next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction. Then I go through the following orange and I take a yellow and I go back through the orange and backwards through the yellow. Then I take one green and I go back through the yellow and backwards again. The same way I'm going to add two more greens. Then a yellow. An orange. and a red one. Then I take a red and an orange and I go under the second thread bridge that I have here. You see I have thread bridges between my beads and I go through the second one. Then I pull. Then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And I go back through the neighbor one and again through this one. In this way I'm reinforcing my beads. They are stretching because I go through the second thread bridge. Then I need a yellow one. And I go under the next yellow. Under the next thread bridge, sorry. And back through the yellow. And I take a green one. I go under the next thread bridge and back through the green. Another green. Go back under this thread bridge and backwards through the green. Then a yellow. Go under the next thread bridge and backwards through the yellow. An orange, next thread bridge, and then I have a red one, and I go under the last thread bridge, and 
and then I take a red and an orange and go under the second thread bridge and I'm going to reinforce then it comes an yellow again next thread bridge then a green a yellow an orange and a red In this work that I'm showing you here guys, I start each row with red and orange and I go under the second thread bridge because what I show here is a decrease in brick stitch. Each next row is with one bead less than the previous one and when I do decreasing brick stitch I take two beads, I go through the second thread bridge and then I reinforce those two beads that I added by going one more time through them. Otherwise they stretch and don't look well. Now two yellows, orange and red. Then I take a red and an orange and I go under the second thread bridge. Again reinforce. Yellow, orange, red. Now I'm doing the same thing as I did before. Then orange and red. Then again the same thing and go under the second thread bridge of the three thread bridges that I have left here.
reinforcement, one red after that. Then I take two red beads guys and you see here I have two thread bridges and I go through the second one again as I did before and I pull and I go back. And I take here a red bead, an earring finding and a red bead. And as I'm exiting from this bead, what I want to do is go in the other one. And I pull. Then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint. And after I reinforce it, I want to go through some beads in this direction. Now guys, I think it is safe to cut this tail thread here. And I'm in a position to start my fringes. Okay guys, and I'm picking up the following sequence. Two red, four orange, two green, two yellow, two green, two yellow, two orange, three red, two orange, two yellow and two green beads. Okay, pause and do this. And I'm sliding those down. Now what I want to do in my next step is go back through this yellow bead here. You see between the, the greens there are two yellows and I'm going through the first one counting from this side. And you see when I pull I have this. I don't want to have any thread showing here, okay? Then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Then guys, I'm going to take three red and five orange. Here I had two red and four orange. Now I take with one more red and with one more orange. Okay. Then I slide them down. And then the sequence after that is the same as this one here. Okay, I'll pick it up and I'll be back. Okay, and here is the sequence. Two green, two yellow, two green, two orange, three red, two orange, two yellow and two green. It is absolutely the same that I took after this orange here. And I'm going to slide this down. Now what I do is that I go here through the first of the yellows between the two greens from this side and from this side like I did before. Okay, this is what I have and I want to pull it in this direction to make it go as close as possible to my work. Okay. Again, go through all of those beads. Be really careful not to miss a bead because it you should go back and redo this if you miss a bit. It won't look good.
Now I'm sure you could guess what comes next. You should take 4 red and 6 orange with 1 red and 1 orange more than I had before. Okay, and here it is. Slide it down. Then it comes the familiar sequence. Okay, here it is. 2 green, 2 yellow, 2 green, 2 yellow, 2 orange, 3 red, 2 orange, 2 yellow and 2 green. Slide it down. We are going to be taking it all the way until the end. Then I go in the same place, you see, through the same yellow bead that I did before. Go through all of those beads just like this. And through the green after that. Now it comes 5 red and 7 orange. Okay, here they are. 5 red, 7 orange. Slide those down. Okay, and it is absolutely the same sequence. Sliding it down. Going through the same bead as before. Now 6 red and 8 orange. Okay, 6 red, 8 orange. Slide those down. Okay, here is the familiar sequence. Okay guys, and from here on I want to repeat these four fringes but the other way around. First I will start with 5 red and 7 orange, so with one less than this middle one and the same number as this one. So 5 red and 7 orange. Then take the familiar sequence make this loop here, here, go back and exit from this one and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to make three more fringes with one red and one orange bead less than the previous one. So I will repeat these three in fact and I will make them here. I'm sure you're gonna, you're gonna be able to make this by yourself. If not, just rewind the video and See how I'm making these three and repeat them in a mirror order. Or just pause the video and see this order here. Okay, now I will finish this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm here at this point. And I want to make here a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread as close as possible to my work. 
Okay guys, and now my fun fringe seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way, you will be notified when I make new similar absolutely free tutorials like this one. Check description for full list of materials, a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank to all of you that support me as members or in other ways. Thank you so much. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.